Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Bianca Belair, Glamour Est. Uh, so we have another absolutely fire 80s outfit here. Uh, Bianca looks awesome. I'm really enjoying the theme this month personally. Uh, also great news, we have a powerhouse Bianca now. I always think of her as a powerhouse personally. Uh, she's a focus powerhouse, Legend Era. Um, she has the Legends Link, Gems do 10% more damage, the stock Glamour Est gear. She's a trainer at uh, 6 star, Crossbreak Gems do 75% more damage, and Green Moves start with 2 more MP. Uh, that works on New Roman's uh, Green Crossbreak set. Um, anyone else that has a bunch of Crossbreaks, I want to say Hall of Fame Nash um, does a bunch of Crossbreaks, but I don't know if the Greens help. Yeah, he does cross breaks. Um, and I'm sure there's others, like Rick Steiner, uh, for example. That would be really good on Rick Steiner. Um, so, I have a lot of builds, actually. Six of them. Um, I do not have the greatest strap for her. I could have put a 30% ultimate on. Uh, but I actually looked through my own personal straps. And you might, if you get Bianca, if I don't know what's going to be on the prize well for sure. Uh, or what's available, but definitely be on the lookout for a good strap for her, because I don't have anything good, really. I got some legendary gem defense straps, no ultimates, no gem damage, no move damage, so uh, that's worth noting. Anyway, for this preview, I'm going to have a 5% universal gem damage one, nothing big there. I'm going to switch some metals around halfway through for you guys, uh, but we're going to start out running uh, Fury 2 with a 200% yellow move damage, uh, metal this per this this build set would be better suited for um takedown but we're gonna run fury for this one um also this is not my favorite so i probably wouldn't run it um uh, but hair whip 10 mp finisher this is the best part of it really um 1.6 million but and then gain yellow nine yellow mp and pin the opponent so it's gonna recycle itself uh once this is loaded you just can spam it over and over and over um so, like, if there's ever a lady yellow move damage boss, this would be pretty cool. Uh, no rest for the EST. It's a kickout move. That's 9 MP yellow. Uh, deal 1.2 million and make 48 randoms into botches. And then you kick out. And then the stun. Alley oop, 8 MP red. Really, this one is open. Nothing, none of her moves flow with these. So you can kind of pick whichever one you want. I kind of like the stun. Um, if you're going to run this thought process is she's going to seek to ratch, match red. So I'd probably pair this with a, a general's orders if I was actually going to run it. Anyway, 339k damage and a two turn skipper. Um, so build set for this, we're going to run Asuka yellow move damage and two yellow MP. Uh, that way it buffs both moves, the kick out and the finisher, uh, Dom two matchy match, Rude for 40% yellow move damage, buffing both of them. And then uh, Hogan for two more matchy match. So three match is going to be seven. Asuka's two, two MP and one for your turn. So one three match would get you loaded. Um, and the idea with this is you want to get pinned, right? <clears throat> I do have some move the pin bar left props left. Maybe I'll use those so we can get the kick out going. We'll see. I don't like wasting those props, but is it really a waste if it shows the kick out? Meh, I don't know. Let's see, if Trish is, it looks like she's going to load her sub, I want no part of a sub battle, though. Uh, that's not very entertaining for me. Of course, we do have plenty of yellow. We also don't want to move the pin bar uh, very far, so, like, row break is a no-go for me. Um, ideally, uh, you know, she'll take this green and do a big cascade of stuff, but I don't know that she will because green's not her color. She's also very uh, kind of likely to take the blue there, which is fine if she does. Anyway, that loads their yellow. Hmm. That's what I didn't want to see with the sub. Anyway, it's not the end of the world. It's a long sub, actually. It is kind of 11 turns. Uh, yeah. You know what? Not gonna sit through that. And I'm not gonna, like, we're just gonna do this. Just so you guys can see the kickout move. Anyway, kickout move is doing 5.2 million. Finisher is 6.8 million. And that's without takedowns, right? Uh, takedown twos instead would add another 80%. The base is like 1.2. So this would be like 6.2 million. 
and this one would probably be close to 8 million with takedown twos. And of course, if you had a move damage trap, uh, it would be even more. But yeah, I'm not gonna sit through a sub. Nope, nope, nope. Maybe I can get Scopely to send me some of these, actually, for previews when they have kickouts. I'm gonna ask about that. That might be kind of fun. Okay! Here comes that kickout. Very juicy. 5.2 mil. And then we're gonna probably get close to the rest of her life. Six oh, we crit. We definitely did. No, we didn't. I lied. Almost. So yeah, she's not getting out of that. Uh, next! Next! Triple green. Honestly, I think most people are probably going to like this moveset the most. I don't. Uh, I don't like using subs for feud. Um, so I personally don't like this moveset. I do think it's one uh, people will probably like. You see Regal there. If I'm, I'm using a bunch of different trainers, right, through this. Um, 2 MP green is what you need to start loaded in feud along with 17k Santa. Uh, you can use Regal for the sub. Better would be Big Papa Pump uh, with 50% green gem damage and 2 green MP. Gonna see him in a build later. Uh, worse would be uh, Ricochet. You'll see him in a build later or Breeze, right? Um, so let's get the triple green in there. They're all 8 MP. A little bit high charge on Bianca's moves. That's certainly worth noting. She does have a little bit high charge moves. Uh, nothing really cheap. They're all 8 or higher, uh, actually. Um, kind of surprising there. Uh, Torture Rack Submission. It's a beefy one. Uh, 491k, 3 turns. Remaining gems turn into botches, and she makes 38 of them. Uh, Spine Buster. Choose 7 gems to make into red gems. 200k. And then Juggernaut Move. Military uh, Press Slam. Uh, 278k damage. Choose one gem to make into a two-turn Juggy gem that will make the bottom two rows into multiply gems of strength nine, and then turn uh, turn them green. Uh, the multiplies all 14 of them. So 14 um, times nines with that. Obviously, gem damage is key here. Um, like I said, we're gonna put Regal on this one for the sub damage because it is a beefy sub. Uh, three turns, 490k. This is gonna go to wrong build set. Um, right build set, never mind. What am I talking about? We're I'm running the buff and the sub with this one. Um, so we're also doing uh, Bruno here for one more turn. So that's four turns at 1.2 million for 4.8 mil. You do need Santa to get to that 8 MP in feud unless you have a middle line bonus. Again, that's worth noting with her 8 MP. Um, some of these moves are going to be a little bit harder to load. Uh, so keep that in mind. This one would benefit from an all-heart skill plate quite a bit, actually. I'll probably throw one on for you guys. Um, like I said, for me, I don't like these in Feud, but they it hits really hard, and it performs pretty well. And you don't want this juggernaut landing in the bottom two rows or it gets overwritten so this corner with one black gem all by its lonesome looks really good to me also i hate the way this board looks with wild cards and that you can see tons of potential cascades i got a feeling this juggernaut gem is going to fall a long way so i'm really not liking that just throwing that out there ahead of time but also part of why i don't like sub builds in feud let's see what happens Looks... I'm not saying anything. Because it's inching its way down. Okay, we came through it fine. Excellent. Uh, also, the wild card down here will mess up, so we get one less multiply. Uh, these are doing... What is that? Is that 290k each? So that's not bad, times 14. Again, 5% strap, nothing great here. 5 match that you swipe into you want to do here. Um, to get your juggernaut gems to tick. Like so. And that recycles the whole shebang. Little cascade. We have for 4 million. Again, that was the sub setup after a big sub. And she can't kick out. Um, so, same build set, but I'll do it with a, a gem flavor instead. 
for you guys real quick, and I will put the um, all hard on. So the sub did do 4.8 million though, so it is a lot. Uh, but you can, obviously you give up some gem damage there. There's just one thing though that's awesome about her in general is, I mean, I have six build sets. There's a ton of different ways you can run her. And depending on which trainers you have and playstyle preference, I think is what you're going to end up liking for sure. Uh, because it's just, it's kind of crazy just how much you can do. Um, so this is gem damage, 50% more with Steiner, and then 12k um, with Lex here. And then uh, that's going to make our sub do 1.2 million instead of the 4.8 we were. So we have 3.6 million damage to make up. Because um, that sub is, like I said, pretty beefy. Let's see, I got an all heart here somewhere. I don't think I have them all equipped. If so, I will remove one. I didn't try any skill plates personally. I saved that for the preview, uh, just in the mm, interest of being efficient. Um, apparently, I do have them all equipped. So I have a ton of them. Oh, I haven't been using Regal lately. Let's just take this off. Uh, of course, all heart, whenever you do a sub, 100% more green or purple gem damage for two turns. And she does a sub. Juggernaut gem towards the top, preferably in a place where it won't go bye-bye, although sometimes you have no control. Sub-a-dub-dub, -dub. thanks for the grub. Also of note, uh, my buddy Evo suggested during the champ stream of setting up with the red to choose red because uh, it's her primary color with a dog ear gremlin plate. Definitely hits harder, so if you want to do a sub into a choose gem damage move um you can get pretty big bang filling these reds in um into the multiplies with a dog ear gremlin plate i'm not going to run that tonight uh, but it, it does hit harder than what you're about to see here by a lot um and that's a great build but this will give you um give you an idea uh no i'm not sure there's a red there let's just clear this uh, I was a little bit worried about wild card into the multiply, but you know what? We're just going to see what happens. I have pin bar room, so I probably... Hold on, don't talk. Swipe this, drop. Yeah, probably fine. How did I know that I was going to drop a, a road break in there? It's fine. It's whatever. Um, another reason why I don't particularly... like this build. I do think a lot of people will like it. Now I'm going to have to run it again because you're not going to see how hard that hits. I mean, even with missing most of them, you can see it hit for 5 million. It's going to hit really hard. Really hard. I just can't do that in Feud personally when I have other options, so... Uh, but up, and that's what this with a five percent strap, uh, and only uh, level twelve. I didn't even max the Fury Two isn't even maxed for this, so like not hard to duplicate this setup. Although Steiner is rare, Big Papa Pump is rare, so I should uh, maybe dial that statement back. That part is hard, um, for sure. But you can obviously still run it without him. Uh, let's see how this goes. If it doesn't cooperate this time, oh well. Fate has decided. Bippity boppity boop. Looking pretty okay so far. Alright. Yeah, keep those wild cards away from the bottom. Hmm, that's actually great. That's perfect. I can't even mess this up. 
Thank you, Trish. There you go. That's like ideal. That's as fast as you can run these. That's all the multiplies. There you go. 9.2 million after the sub. Reduced to 8.4 with a 5% strap. Gem damage, so you can just double that at 6 star. Uh, and if you get a good gem damage strap, that number's just going up, up, and up. Um, so yeah, you're gonna you're gonna go over 20 million, no problem with that. Uh, the red build with the choose red, uh, probably you're gonna get um, another like 10 million on top. By the way, it's really it's really strong. Uh, but Doggy Gun Garmin played is much more rare uh, for sure. Although one was available recently, a little more available. Anyway, uh, I digress. This is my favorite build set. I usually save it for last, but it's gem damage based. So we're just doing it now um, in the middle here before I switch to takedowns. So, uh, spoiler, here's Merrick's favorite moveset. And it probably is because of what I have on my roster. Um, so let me clarify that. This will not be everyone's favorite. Um, I think with a middle line bonus, and I get those fairly often, um, a lot of people will really like this. And if you have Roxanne... Um, and a middle line bonus in particular, um, you're really, really going to like it. But let's start out, if you don't, you can use any 2 MP guy, like I said. I'm going to leave uh, the setup that I was running um, for the gem damage on. Obviously, it won't hit as hard, but like I said, being that this one, um, I think the only way you really like it a lot is with Roxanne. Um, yeah, and I don't need to take the skill plate off because it's not going to do anything. And you've actually seen all the moves, so just kind of putting them together here. Um, the two greens with the stun that you saw in the first build set, although I didn't use it. So yeah, uh, Santa's important to load everything. Also, this will start you with um, one for your turn, one for Santa too. So we need six MP to load the stun. And this, what you're seeing here, is not why it's my favorite move set yet. Because this one is not Merrick's proof. Um, but I like it more than the previous one, even set up this way. Where it really shines is Roxanne in a middle line bonus, though. In my opinion. Uh, same kind of thing. We want to keep this at the top, right? And then you want to set up a six, six uh, wild card thing, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Not a swipe into. Just like a straight up uh, six. And then, um, if the board works out, having a couple red matches is great, too, by the way. Alright, so that fills you up, and that loads your stun. Now, when you swipe, if you don't cascade here, it doesn't actually count as a stun turn, because you have the wild card. So you still have two turns of stun after this swipe, and your juggernaut counts down. The only thing I don't like about what I did is I left the wild card down here. Um, uh, you're better off going s this way, uh, to not have the wild card in the way, but whatever. So that didn't count as one of our stuns, so there's that. Um, we could take this red and refill the stun, um, f for sure, like right now, but, uh, it's really not that big a deal, and then we lose our wild card. I think we'll probably win anyway, unless she decimates our wild cards here, which she might- or our wild cards, our multiplies, which she might, but I left her some blues. Let's see what happens. Okay. And so there's still two turns of the stun, and boom. Hit for seven million, reduced to six. I know you're thinking, Merrick's, that's not crazy. You're right, it's not. Um, you're not gonna need skill plates for this. Um, but like I said, where I think it'll really excel is with a good gem damage strap in a middle lane. Um, so what does the middle lane look like? With Roxanne. I actually didn't put Roxanne on him, uh, her yet, sorry, um, because it plays sort of the same, but, well, it plays the same, but anyway, Roxanne, and then uh, any two 
green, one red, or vice versa. Um, which I know there's one of. Breeze. Tyler Breeze. Two green, one red. Santa in a middle lane fills all of it. If you're a lucky enough person to have um, Mr. Perfect, you don't need a middle lane either. So this in a middle lane and Roxanne. Uh, all the moves... Let me make sure I'm saying this right. Yeah, all the moves are filled uh, turn one. Four. Five. Six. One for your turn is seven and middle lane is eight. So you only need one and one here. Perfect. Yes. I am telling you guys the truth. So that means you could start off right away with the stun. A two turn stun. So you'll just start with a two turn stun. Boom. And then you'll go gem damage based across the top to save your multiply gem. We don't have a red, that's fine. So this leaves us one short of the stun, also fine. Because this swipe fills it. And now I believe it's a four turn stun, if I'm not mistaken. We're up to four. Yeah, four turn stun. Just like that. 6.5 mil. Again, I want to reiterate, the damage here isn't going to be a thing unless you get a good gem damage strap, right? Like, it's not going to be good enough. So, even though this is my favorite, I don't expect a lot of people to for this to be their favorite. Um, or maybe even understand why that's my favorite right now, uh, necessarily. For those that do, um, with a high gem damage strap, I think that's going to scale really nice and be really fun. Also worth noting, if they ever give us, and I would assume at some point we get it because we have multiply and 100% color on half of the colors, like uh, what do we got? Yellow, blue, and black so far. If they ever give us one on greens, um, that would be really, really good uh, and hit much harder with the multiplies. Anyway, moving on. Um, I like that one, so I talked about it maybe a little too much, but that's okay. Uh, sub finisher build. Um, you guys haven't seen the finisher, the red finisher yet. It's a really good one. It works off of botch gems. And I am going to switch over to takedowns at this point um, as well. And I could edit that out, but, you know, it's me. Did you really think I might? Somebody maybe did, but no. Nah. Okay, so the spear, the one you haven't seen, 10 MP finisher, 1.5 mil plus uh, 97k bonus for every botch. Oh, by the way, it refills your greens uh, for 9 MP, right? So we're going to go take down twos and red move damage. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And you're going to see three different builds with the same idea here, by the way. Uh, they're all going to work off of the red finisher or, or and or red move damage, but in different ways. Um, different ways. I think I got a 12 here somewhere. Lots of metal switches. Uh, this one I don't really care. Anything works. Sure. Just to get the percentage. Bippity boppity boop. Alright. Great. Perfect! Okay, so again, keep in mind, we do have to fill 8 MP. Gross, um, but there it is. Load out for this one. Pretty similar to what you've seen uh, before. Steel and Waller. So Waller is 2 green MP, 75% uh, red move damage. Then Steel is 4 MP, that gives us 6. One for our turn is 7, Santa is 8. The greens are loaded. Uh, and you might be like, Merrick's, why do you have Hogan on? Uh, because I'm not going to do a five and a three match to fill a sub kind of thing 
or try and do a seven when I can just do two, three matches and almost never cascade. You're more than welcome to put a move damage person there if you want. I do not. Um, but 2.7 million before takedowns and stuff kick in. Uh, and you can also use an NWO plate on this one, which I will put on eventually. Um, but not for this build, for a build I like more than this one, but still uses the finisher. But you could use it for this one if you like this. Again, me and subs, uh, most of the time, not so much. Although for this build, it's fine. Uh, you'd probably put a botch person on there, to be honest. Uh, if you wanted to do the five match thing. Um, which you could too, because you, you start with the sub, so you have even more pin bar than normal to work. I'm just extra cautious. Uh, and you'd start at three um, on your turn in feud, so you'd only need a seven match. So really, I could stop being a big baby um, and put a botch person on, because seven with this much pin bar is probably safe. But again, it's me, so at two, three matches just feels better. Anyway, finisher's at seven million before botches. And we got some botches, so yeah. Let's try to not hit him. Okay. 7 million plus 97k, and we got a bunch left. 1, 2, 3, 4. Got like 28. Uh, so that would be about like 2.7 million more. On top of the 7 million. So like 9.7 mil here. Uh, should be ish. And she's got 10.5 health. Let's see how close I was. Uh, looks like we... Yeah. Pretty close. 9.7. Hey. How about that? And they're not going to kick out. That's not going to scale much. It's only going to go up like 7%. Maybe. Uh, so that's probably only an 11 million hit at silver. Just keep that in mind. This move damage doesn't scale up real well. Uh, kind of the same principle here, except way different trainers, and we're going with the stun and stuff. Um, but move damage, right? And damage off of botches, just getting there in a different way. And you've seen the alley-oop, you've seen the finisher. What you haven't seen is the 450 splash, 280k damage. 8 MP. Choose one gem to make a two-turn Juggy gem. They'll make 36 randoms into botch on every countdown turn and make 36 botches into red at the end. So how this works is you get your MP loaded, you hit this, you hit this, you do a swipe, then you hit the finisher, and then you reload. But hopefully you don't need to reload. That would be the goal. You do need all of 9 MP um though because if you do eight and then you swipe and there's no red match then you end up one short and then you're gonna pin so you do need santa so butch and sting or butch and roxanne santa and then stacy's on for the botches uh so they're gonna do 146k per and we're gonna have 36 of them because um we're not gonna lose any most likely unless i cascade and that that 146k by the way, times 36 is 5.2 million in botch damage. So we are going to do 5.7 million, 1.2 million, and a million. So 1, 2, 2, and 2, 5, 9, 7, 9, plus 5.2. So that's like 13, almost 13 mil, I think, and she's at 12.5. Doesn't matter where you put the Juggy Gem. Bop. Two turn stun. Boom. Uh, you know, if you knew you were going to keep him down here, you could just hit the pin right now and call it good, but there's a chance she'd kick out. Much better to just take this momentary swipe here. Get those botches out. And then hit for the 5 7 plus 5 2. And wipe her health. I think a lot of people like this move set too, to be honest. This one's really, really strong too. Uh, at bronze. Again, though, keep in mind at silver, that's not really going up from that about 12 million total. A whole heck of a lot. Might go to like 14. But it does recycle. 
And now this is this is the other one that like is close for me. Uh, it's either this one or the the other stun one that I showed you guys is my favorite, or the gem based one. This one is actually pretty good too. I wish this wasn't eight MP though. Although Waller helps, Waller definitely helps. Uh, but eight MP I'm not a fan of. It's just really high charge. So instead of the botches, we're just using the stun. It recycles itself completely, so it's just super safe. Um, Ogun is on there again to be safe. Two, three matches instead of a five and a whatever. Five and a swipe and a three. Nonsense that I don't like. Ba -da -ba -bum. This is a long preview. There's a lot of movesets. So finisher is 7 mil, stun is 1.5, so that's 8.5 total. <clears throat> Two red, three matches will do ya. Hmm, whatever game. We're fine. Two turn stun, and then you're back reloaded. Also for Hogan, if you don't keep them down here... Um, you're gonna really need that matchy match on the reload because you're gonna need a nine to reload the finisher. You so like that's more for against silvers, right? And there is one plate that works with this that you can do um, as far as more damage, and that's the NWO plate. Adds seventy five percent more of her base finisher damage, so it's gonna add about an extra million to that. Um, I want to say, and like about two hundred k ish to the stun. Uh, so you're probably going to get another 1.2 million or so out of it. Let's, I'll throw that on for you guys. And then we will call that good. Whenever you break six or more red gems, increase your red move damage. 75% two turns. And you could run this one on the sub build too, by the way, that I ran earlier, if that was your flavor. This plate. This moveset would look way better with like a 100% move damage strap as well. I don't know if anyone even has one of those at this point, to be honest, for uh, Ladies Ultimate Legend era. Um, there hasn't been a lot of opportunities for Lady Legend straps in general. So if you do, consider yourself extremely lucky. Um, so again, 1, 4, and 6, 9. Let's see what happens after the NWO plate. I do not love this board super much. Goes up to 8.1 and 1.7. And it recycles quite well, so... Yeah. That's her movesets, and that's, again, this is really bare bones as far as a lot of nice stuff strap-wise, um, so there's a lot of room for improvement there. Keep in mind the move damage stuff is not going to uh, scale. No matter what you have, I think it's a two-cycle win with the move damage, right? The gem damage one, I think you can get some, some turn one wins, and you got that big stun of starting out with a middle line, um, two turns, and then do your stuff, and then another two turns seems really safe. Maybe a bit on the clicky side, though. Uh, if you have zombie live, you're not hurting at powerhouse uh, for ladies, right? So the real question is against silvers. Against against bronzes, I think Bianca's is just fine, you know? Pick your moveset against six-star bronzes, click your buttons and win, no question. Against silvers, it gets more interesting. Um, I do personally think Liv is better at, at Silver, with or without the zombie moment. Um, but I do think Bianca is super good, and she's legendary, and she's another good powerhouse. So, uh, I think Liv is the best, and then I think she's right there, um, right behind her. Um, that being said... Some of those sub-builds, you can get some crazy high gem damage. I see, like, for Lady Boss and stuff, 
you can do green you can do red multiply with that so that's pretty cool um, she's got some nice move damage stuff. She's got some botch stuff. So for Lady Boss potential, she's got yellow move damage. There's a lot of potential there um, overall. And she's also a different class than Liv is at, uh, at uh, defensive because she's focused. So, um, And I think Raquel, Raquel is also focused. Raquel's not bad uh, for sure. Uh, but And Piper's okay. Um, and Stacy's okay. I just think Bianca's... Um, significantly better than all the, those other options and those are only the really the only ones i think in my opinion probably worth talking about too much um so yeah she's she's very very good i definitely want her on my roster uh legend era powerhouse both uh in dire straits right for for ladies so I think she's great. A lot of good utility, a lot of options. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it went so long. Uh, was this too many? Was six too many builds? I feel like they're all really similar. And I could have showed a seventh. Like I said, uh, the choose red sub build actually hits harder. Um, but I think it takes a little bit more stuff to run with the dog ear gremlin plate. There's a lot you can run, and you can get some big damage out of her. So uh, uh, also, again, shout out to Evil because that is a super good build. Um, but yeah, um, what do you guys think? Too long? Not enough? Okay. Um, hopefully you have an idea if you want to wanna go for her, how she'll be. Um, I think she's great. I want her. She looks amazing too, graphically, um, visually. Then the poster art's fire. And then um, I think the coach will be, trainer will be useful too anytime there's a cross break boss for sure. Uh, again, yep, that's it. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share because that helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Good luck out there. Woo! That was a long one. There's a lot going on with Bianca. Good stuff.